Hello students and welcome to the next lesson in our AS Level Psychology course. Today we're going to be looking at the biological explanation of psychopathology. The biological explanation of psychopathology. This approach aims to explain that abnormal behaviour is caused by a list of biological factors. So abnormal behaviour or psychopathology will arise from symptoms that are from physical causes and therefore we can treat abnormality by treating the body. Now there are a set of factors which are going to influence this biological ways in which we become abnormal and the first of which is infection. Bacteria and viruses can manipulate the body and cause mental illness. And this mental illness can then stem and lead to abnormal behaviour. For example, general paresis is a disease where the individual begins to lose control over mental processes. It begins by bacteria causing syphilis to enter the central nervous system which damages the brain. As it damages the brain, you then lose control of your mental processes, which can lead you to then become abnormal. The next is neurotransmitters. Neurotransmitters are chemicals in the brain which are used to communicate throughout the body. A surplus or a shortage of neurotransmitter activity can lead to abnormal behaviour. For example, schizophrenia, an abnormal behaviour, occurs when the brain is using far too much dopamine. And this dopamine is a neurotransmitter, so a surplus of dopamine, or the neurotransmitter, can cause abnormal behaviour in the form of schizophrenia. Brain damage. Physical damage to the brain can manipulate the way that it works, which can then lead to a change in behaviour which becomes abnormal. For example, Phineas Gage was a person who had a metal rod pass through his brain in an accident and damaged parts of its actual brain. The behaviour changed and became more introverted and as a result he became more abnormal. Genetics. This is going to explain that changes and manipulations in genetic structure can actually influence how someone is instructed to behave. For example, phenylketonuria is a mental disease which is caused by a defect in a gene passed down from its offspring. It leads to brain damage which can then cause a change in behaviour which can actually lead to more abnormal behaviour which can be maladaptive for the human body. Now we're going to evaluate the biological approach. First of which, it's highly scientific. It relies on evidence based on scientific processes such as that of being able to measure levels of neurotransmitters or brain damage and see how the effects of the brain can lead to abnormal behaviour. This is compared to other approaches which we're going to look at after in later on in the course which don't have that much scientific backing to them and are just more theoretical. Also, it ignores the influence of the environment. This states that abnormal behaviour is pretty much only caused by biological factors and ignores that you may be able to be taught to be abnormal or kind of what you think around you and what, you're, what you see can lead to abnormal behaviour too. Also, it helps us understand the role of the brain in mental functions. Now, this is really important because a lot of other approaches don't really give that much attention to the role of the brain scientifically in order to help us understand how mental functions actually lead to abnormality. Also, there's lots of evidence which we've just looked at which is going to support how the biological approach causes uh, abnormal behaviour. For example, general paresis, schizophrenia, phineas gauge and any other diseases which can be genetic that are passed on which can cause abnormal behaviour. Here are some questions on the biological approach to abnormality. Have a go at answering these on another sheet of paper by pausing a video and then hit play whenever you're ready to see the answers. Here are the answers. If you got these right, congratulations. I'd advise you to move on to the next video, which will be on biological therapies. These are ways in which we can treat abnormality arising from biological causes. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you then.